This video will talk about how we add two fractions of how the same denominator. If you divide your joint into nine parts, so let's say we have an object here and it has nine parts. And we're going to pretend it's equal parts. And what you've done is you now have each piece. So this one piece right here is one ninth of that object. That one ninth is called a unit fraction. So it's just one of the whole piece. If you pick four of these, you have now four ninths. If I pick um, two others, two of these one ninths, now pick these two, and now have two ninths. Together, you're going to notice you have six ninths. So now mm -hmm. together, we have six ninths of the object. Notice if you add four plus two, you in fact get six. So the numerator is just counting the number of one ninths you have. We have six one ninths. One, we can think of this as four ninths plus two ninths, which is in fact six ninths. Notice at this point, the two fractions have the same denominators and you can just add the numerator, which is basically what you do. If you want to, you can reduce the two ninths you don't have to, but if you'd like to, you can reduce it. I notice that six is two times three, nine is three times three, and I can divide both the numerator and denominator by three, and I will get two thirds. This demonstrates that adding two fractions that have the same denominator, you only need to add the numerators and put the sum over that denominator. Remember, you are counting how many of the unit fractions you actually have. So we have six ninths, we have six one ninths. Then, if you want, you can reduce the fraction, but you don't always need to reduce them. So sometimes we don't want to accept so improbabilities. So now the question is what do you do if fractions do not have the same denominator? If they do not have the same denominator, you make the fractions have the same denominator by building the fractions up to have the same denominator called the common denominator. The process of building fractions up to a common denominator is the opposite pro process of reducing them. To work with smaller numbers and to avoid, maybe avoid reducing in the end, it is advantage to find the lowest common denominator. Do you realize there's nothing special about the lowest common denominator, however, so you can figure out the lowest, find any common denominator. 